Quick warning before we start today, guys. This video, not for the purists. If you usually get offended by simple things like, I don't know, bacon instead of pancetta and carbonara, or simple syrup instead of plain sugar in a mojito, well, this video is not for you. So thank you very much for clicking on a thumbnail. I appreciate that, but I think you should probably just leave. Bye. All right, so what's up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make a short deep dive into the beautiful world of the old fashioned. My recipe evolved over the years and the latest addition to it comes from a friend of mine who's also a bartender. A little while back he made me the best old fashioned I had in years but he didn't want to share his secret. So I had to use a little bit of cutting and bribery in order to get it. I offered him his favorite bottle of rye and he finally revealed the secret. It's actually so simple, I can't believe we don't see that more often in old fashioned recipes and while it may not be 100% classic, it is still close enough that we can call that an old-fashioned, no problem. So if you guys are ready, go grab your mixing glass because you're about to elevate your old-fashioned game with this delicious and simple trick. Let's go! If you're new to cocktails, the old fashioned is kind of the father of them all. It's one of the first, if not the first cocktail ever created. And while the history of its creation is a little bit blurry, it is still clear enough that we often hear some very strong and intense argument or debate around its creation. So here's what we know. In 1862, the whiskey cocktail, also known as the bitter sling, was created. It was made out of rye whiskey, gum syrup, and Booker's Bitters. Then in 1876, the improved whiskey cocktail was created. Again, made out of rye whiskey, but instead of using gum syrup, they were using a sugar cube. Instead of the Booker's Bitters, they were using Angostura and Pecho. They added a little dash of absinthe and a bar spoon of marsh liqueur. But then, four years later, in 1880, the old fashioned was created. But this one was really more like going back to the whiskey cocktail. But instead of using the gum syrup, they were using a sugar cube. And instead of the Booker's they were using Angostura. And rumor has it that when it was first served, the gentlemen drinking them were like, whoa, this is like a whiskey cocktail but served the old fashioned way. And it eventually became just the old fashioned. And when you think about it, it's literally the same thing, just whiskey, sugar, and bitters. It's just for me two different ways to make the same cocktail. And I personally like to take a little bit of both to make my ultimate old fashioned. And now that my friend shared his secret with me, I'm adding one little extra thing. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is rye whiskey, Angostura bitters, Demerara gum syrup, and the secret weapon, saline solution. In terms of the rye I'm using today, I didn't want to mention a specific brand here because I didn't want you to feel like you have to use the same one as I am to make the best old fashioned. And I didn't want to spark a big debate on the choice of whiskey neither because honestly, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. What makes a huge difference for me though is to use a rye at 100 proof. You want the spices from the rye and also the extra body and flavor from the 100 proof whiskey. Then if you really want to go with a bourbon instead of a rye, I would recommend a high rye mash bill bourbon. Then for the Angostura, for me this is hands down the best aromatic bitters you can use in an old fashioned. This syrup is my Demerara gum syrup which will add a lot of texture and also a lot of flavors to your cocktail. Link up here for the recipe. And then the saline solution, my friend's secret weapon. This is a game changer. It's a 10% saline solution, so 10 grams of salt for 90 grams of water. You stir until it is dissolved and you bottle it in a pipa bottle. So that way you can add just a few drops at a time, which is all you need to take your old fashioned to another level. So now let's build the cocktail. So we're gonna start with two ounces or 60 ml of our 100 proof rye whiskey quarter of an ounce of the Demerara gum syrup, three dashes of Angostura bitters. As I always say, when using a dasher bottle like this, double up the amount because they make for really small dashes. And six drops of the saline solution. Then we can fill the mixing glass with ice and stir it until chilled and diluted. I usually don't go over 40 revolutions for my old fashioned, otherwise I think it gets watered down too fast because we're gonna serve this over ice. So 
So then we're gonna strain it over a big block of clear ice and an old fashioned glass. We're gonna express the orange zest over the cocktail. And there you go, my new favorite way of making the old fashioned. Cheers. It is really like an explosion of flavor. It's crazy how just a small amount of salt can make all the flavors so vibrant. Almost has like that salty caramel taste now because of the Demerara sugar and the saline solution. But it's not salty, it's just slightly, slightly savory. It makes you salivate, makes you want to go back. Everything is super smooth. The texture from the Demerara syrup is exquisite. I really love this recipe for me. This is the ultimate old fashioned. I love it and I hope you're gonna love it too. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already to turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. This bottle is pretty hard to open. <laughs>